Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll take a look at the delete and truncate table statements. The delete statement is used to remove rows from a table. Without a WHERE clause, all rows in the table are deleted by a single statement. In this example, we delete all the rows from the employees table and then issue a rollback to cancel the deletion. Adding a WHERE clause allows you to limit the rows that will be deleted. Here we're just deleting a single row using the primary key column as a filter. It's possible to delete from the base table associated with a view. In this example, we create a simple view on the employees table and then delete using it. You won't see it very often, but you can also delete from an inline view. This can be used to control the number of rows deleted rather than using a filter in the WHERE clause of the delete statement itself. A delete of zero rows is a valid deletion and doesn't result in an error. As a result, you can't test for a failure to delete rows using the no data found exception in PLSQL. In this code block, we issue a delete that touches zero rows. Assuming it's successful, we put out a message to say that no problem has been raised. There's an exception handler that copes with the no data found exception and if one's raised, then we put out a message to say so. We can see from the output that there was no problem raised. Instead, we need to manually test the number of rows deleted using SQL% row count. If we get zero rows deleted, we manually raise an error. If we want to remove all rows from a table, the truncate table statement is a lot more efficient than the delete statement. We can see there are 14 rows currently in the table. We issue a truncate table statement to remove all the rows from the employees table and then follow it straight away with a rollback command. We can see there are zero rows in the employees table. This is because the truncate table is actually a DDL command, not a DML command so it has an implicit commit, therefore the removal of the rows can't be rolled back. So keep this in mind when you consider using the truncate table statement. It's a lot more efficient, but there are no second chances. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.